everybody. Today we are going to talk about Osman for mappers. And uh, I am Victor, started the project in uh, 2010. I am Eugene, and I joined to Osman in 2015. Yeah, right now we have uh, more than 20 team members, and currently they in, in tough conditions in, uh, in Ukraine mostly cannot leave the country, but say saying uh, hello uh, to you from Kyiv. Thank you for supporting Ukraine. Uh, and also, it's the first time we are here at the uh, OpenStreetMap United States. We really like it. So it's uh, glad to be here. Finally, we make it. Uh, for, for people who probably are not uh, familiar with the product or what we do, I just could say a few words about it. I started the project in 2010, and main goal was to create open source uh, tool for offline mobile navigation. So mostly, mostly we were focused on. I was focused on creating something open source that could go. In 2010, it was not that popular yet, but something could. If we do something wrong, that people could fork it and do it. And another thing to focus, especially on offline, to focus on privacy things. So we basically don't know anything what people do. And most of the features we develop, the uh, available offline. So first of all, it's a main, most important feature, of course, uh, view the map and navigation. But there are some features that we also developed uh, last year, lately like a weather forecast, also offline, very small size for two weeks, for example, it's 50 megabytes just for the whole United States and you have the full weather forecast. Also 3D relief, pretty compact. It's three gigabytes size or, or that takes on device and it processes all, all things offline, basically using a GDAL library. And also, for example, a feature of Wikipedia, as you see, we are mostly focused on offline uh, things. And a uh, few words, how we actually using OpenStreetMap. We are pretty heavily using the data and uh, what people do. Uh, I just counted recently that we supported around seven, more than 7,000 features of OpenStreetMap, basically tag values. For navigation, we recently added some uh, interesting kind of navigation, like a trail or like a trains. Uh, we also support public transport, boat. It doesn't mean that we support it uh, very good enough, but what's most important that we say, well, for example, once we introduced public transport, that people started mapping more for public transport, even though it's still flaky, but we see that quality of data is growing. So it's always a collaboration. You introduce the future, feature and then basically people start doing something in that direction because now they see the tools that they can use and keep mapping for rendering we support like seven custom styles uh, they, they have lots of parameter each style for example we recently also last year added finally that you can select a route relation of course there are specific tools like uh, that do it much better like i would recommend hey uh, I way marked uh, trails uh, on OpenStreetMap.org. Uh, I don't remember the website. And that was basically we were taking the idea and putting on a device, on mobile devices, and people using more and more, putting the shields on the trails and, uh, and basically introducing more features in OpenStreetMap. And that's what I think is the most important. And because we heavily rely on uh, OpenStreetMap uh, details, we also introduced an editor quite a lo uh, long time ago, uh, but we keep keep improving it. Maybe we can do it better, but we're on the fifth place by the number of editors. And as you see, the number is growing, so we definitely need to do a better job because people trust us more and more. And uh, uh, as I said, uh, my presentation is about what we do for mappers. So what are the most important features for mappers Osmond basically uh, does. I think the one most important feature that we introduced, and I don't see that anybody does uh, that as well, is a live map updates. Uh, that's what we do uh, on top of offline maps. So once you downloaded the map, you can download every 10 minutes an uh, incremental update, which is basically fast. It takes only five minutes to process on a server. 
In that uh, interval, we run over pass query, generate the maps to get the diff, calculate the difference, split by country, and then basically uh, make it available to download. It's a very small update section. It's, for example, for the call May of um, 2023, it just takes uh, seven megabytes. Uh, comparing to the full size of the map is 380 megabytes. Of course, per, per day, it's uh, like a 500 kilobyte. It's a useful update. It's, uh, it's uh, because it, in, it incorporates the features. It's not like a smallest update of Planet OpenStreetMap or the Torque because uh, this one, we still need to retrieve the nodes under it and so on to make the features. And this updates we support fully for maps navigation because our navigation using a star so it's slow but also it benefits a lot that you can use live data immediately once you download it and poi information uh so this is basically a good thing about it uh it also supports public transport but there are some kind of uh, still issues we need to fix and work and unfortunately it's always like if feature is not perfect, people not using it, and it's kind of also gets back, gets down in the backlog to fix. And also, what's actually very important that we realize to make this feature free for SM mappers, and but not free as it is, but to make some motivation. We ask people to do 30 changes in a month, and that's actually for mappers good motivation to not forget, because sometimes they take a break, they forget to do something like, okay, I did enough changes already, thousands and so on. But this kind of motivates to, to do things continuously to get back to the project. And basically they can use Osman then uh, for free. Uh, one, another second feature, I would say it's a boy uh, editing uh, that we support a simple, uh, create a sing single node. We support also editing non-single non node POIs that you can edit all the tags. And also you can kind of not automate, but make it quick because we support quick action. So you can create quick action for different uh, type of uh, POI. So for example, you can have quick action to put a bench in the center of the map and so on and so on. Or put a, and um, put a garbage bin, for example, as another action. So this kind of um, automated tool, but it's not very specific. It doesn't support a lot like geometry changes like Vespucci does. But it's still something that could be used uh, by hand. Uh, and of course, uh, that's our primary kind of focus. We also support uploading GPX to OpenStreetMap. Uh, and we support OSM nodes so that you can browse, uh, uh, edit commands. That's online feature. Uh, well, basically, because it requires this communication channel. Uh, that you create bugs, but it also works offline. So you can create it once you don't have internet and upload it later. Uh, so it helps uh, to do this uh, like regular tasks, like when you open them up and you see that there are some issues, you walk around, put the comments, fix the issues, or put the comments and fix it later if it requires changing geometry or some complex things that Osman doesn't support. Uh, and what we plan to do in the future for mappers is supporting editing templates uh, so people could uh, import uh, like JOSM templates. They can import it from JOSM or, and we basically have uh, standard suggestions as well. We also would like to have OSM nodes layer offline so you, you can download it, uh, have a full cache and the incremental updates, uh, for example, so you don't need to be online or you don't need to kind of keep it on the screen, this OSM notes. Also, we would like to have, uh, there are some requests as well, overpass uh, layer, so you can basically search for any tag because uh, what we do, we have our POIs and they are, they are still limited. So they're like uh, uh, 2000 as I showed types. And of course in OpenStreetMap, there are much more POI types, very specific. And for this specific needs, it's just easier to introduce direct queries uh, to the server than to pre-process, uh, prepare it uh, for our maps. And that's what uh, overpass would be a good uh, fit for. Uh, also, what's one next feature that uh, like we, we really wanted a long time ago to introduce the map inspector. So 
people could uh, view the tags and details for every road. So right now, you need to build a route to see the text on the roads, and it's a really, very limited set. Or you need to, it needs to be a POI, and we have a large set of uh, attributes. And basically, that would be a next uh, um, step to have a universal editor that you can edit uh, ways and uh, tags of the ways and so on. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that if you didn't try Osmond, now you can. You find the URL in the booklet that gives you for a summer uh, free update. Uh, for You can try all the features for this summer. Uh, this is a QR code. And that basically uh, utilize my, uh, finalize my presentation. Thank you. Thank you.